Hello, everybody. This is Kathy Gross, Kurtz with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia, near Metro Atlanta. And today I'm going to be talking about the enhanced bank rule capabilities in QuickBooks Desktop 2021. And just so you'll know, these enhancements are part of the advanced bank feeds capabilities that are in the newest version of desktop. And it's virtually available on all subscription levels, including Plus, Premier, and Enterprise. Even the accountant's version has it. So let's go ahead and just go in there. I'm going to access it from the left navigation over here. I'm going to click on the bank feeds area. And if you want to watch my last video, I talk about some caveats and some things you have to do to make sure they're enabled. I have two screens, so I had to move this little pop up over here. I suggest you keep this pop up up so you can actually when you have some time you can click on the learn more link and that'll get you into the help articles to get kind of really up to speed on some of these newer features. Otherwise you can go ahead and click skip and that'll open up the banking center. And so, as you can see, it opens up to the Bank Feeds page. Again, it looks very similar to QuickBooks Online's portal. And with uh, similar capabilities, we talked about that in my last video. But what I want to do is I want to actually get into the rules area. And we're going to set up a rule for this Bayshore Cow Oil. And what I'm going to do is to... Click over here up in the top, you'll see where you have the rules button, and that will actually open up another window, which I'm going to have to drag over here. And this is the rules list. And you can actually do this one or two ways. You can actually add a rule from here, or you can create a rule from the other thing. So let's go ahead and probably be easier just go ahead and uh, create a rule from this. So in order to do that, you would click on uh, the drop down over here next to the add and do add more details and then that way it'll open up that transaction so that you can add more stuff and then down here in the bottom you can go ahead and click on create rule from this transaction and then when you do that it opens up the rule details and this is basically for money out and when you're setting up these rules very similar to what you do in QuickBooks online you want to cast a wide net as possible. I like to use any to start with because it kind of gives you a little bit more wiggle room if the rule doesn't work out. And I'm also, instead of matches, I'm going to go ahead and do contains because that way this rule should work if we do that. So we set up our if scenario and we're going to call this um, Bayshore Cow Oil. payment and so we're going to rename payee to Bayshore Cow Oil Service and this is going to be our utility and this is going to be gas and electric and if you want to if you have classes enabled you can go ahead and do that and we do so I'm going to go ahead and classify that as overhead. I'm going to save that. And then we go back to our, I don't know, cancel all that because hopefully if this works out the way I hope is that it's going to show up as recognized now. Look at that. We created that rule and that rule is now being applied to this. And so you can add this if you want to. And this is really good to use if you have a payment that comes through for a utility or something like that and it's basically one category so those those will help you enter those in to be able to um, match those two transactions like checks that you put in your register and things like that the only caveat or the only downside actually it's really not a downside I said this in the last video the only thing that you cannot do is auto add these, which I don't like using the auto add in online anyway, because so many things can go wrong. So I'm really happy with that. But it's just as simple as that, going ahead and creating the rule. And if you wanted to do the rule, 
uh, from scratch, you can actually do that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where that rule actually landed. And it's in here. Now you can either edit this rule or you can clone it, which means you, you just basically make a copy of it. So a lot of times it's just easier to make a copy of it as um, as opposed to just adding the rule and setting it up. So if you wanted to clone that rule, you click on clone. Again, I have to drag from the other window. And then you can change any of the parameters, but everything is basically the same. Still same money out, money in. The only thing, the other thing too that it doesn't do is it doesn't allow you to uh, specifically granularly check the boxes for each account that you're going to be using, such as the banking account or credit card or whatever. But that's okay. Um, very superior to what was in here before. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it because I'm not going to change anything in here. But very simple, very straightforward, uh, vast improvement over what we had before. Hope this helps you today. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel as well as share it with others. I am adding on average one video per week, including the occasional motivational video. I would love nothing more than to help you maximize your usage of QuickBooks Desktop and online. My email is below as well as the number where you can text me for more information and to set up an initial consult. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.